Good afternoon. I'm still reporting on the coup. The threats of the arrest of President Donald Trump by a few leftist partisans in New York State designates the precise turning point of this great American political experiment in creating a system that preserves maximal individual freedoms as laid out in the United States Constitution. This discussion of Trump's rumored arrest on the now-liberated Twitter is very interesting. You know, I'm 100% Trump 2024, but I still love DeSantis as my governor. But if DeSantis doesn't come out soon and make a bold statement against this political witch hunt against Trump, the primary is already over. This is 1,000 times bigger than any presidential primary. Our country can't survive with this communist two-tiered justice system. I'm watching this closely to see who will stand on principle, no matter the political fallout, and who will not. This is about saving our country from the enemy from within, not one person's political future. Well, maybe not a thousand times, but it's certainly the biggest story going at a time when there are more hot stories out there than I can do in a single day. If they don't, we'll know DeSantis is establishment. I am with you. If DeSantis does not come out and stand against this tyranny, he is no better than the establishment rhinos. Well, people might say Trump has not been so kind to DeSantis. I halfway don't blame DeSantis. I mean, let's get real. It's politics. Do you think, if it were reversed, Trump would stick his neck out for DeSantis after DeSantis attacked him? What about Jay Sixers? What's DJT done? And now here is the gem of this whole series. Easiest win that DeSantis could take right now is to do this. Donald Trump is a citizen of Florida, a Soros-funded district attorney who has allowed anti-Semitic violence to send New York City into a state of anarcho-tyranny, is allegedly seeking to take Trump into custody on spurious charges. I am prepared to exercise my lawful authority as governor to examine the legality of any extradition request to ensure that no citizen of my state will have his rights violated by some Soros-funded DA in New York. This is the best solution possible in my humble opinion. Trump need not even bother to appear in New York State. DeSantis can study the situation until whatever court Trump goes to can confirm the illegality of this Soros-funded DA's actions. And this one sheds some additional light. New York City law enforcement sources telling me that the Manhattan DA's office is in chaos. They're telling me about 60% of the office wants no part of this and wishes Bragg and Reese would just stop the nonsense. They all know there's no crime, apparently all being driven by a small group of radicals at the top, very similar to Russiagate. And finally, from Laura Logan, best Babylon B headline ever. FBI concerned that if MAGA doesn't conduct a terrorist attack soon, they'll have to fake one. I'm still reporting from just outside the citadel of world freedom. Good evening.